Hi, beautiful. Yes, my hair is brown. Yes, I'm wearing two jean shirts at once. How are you today? So you guys already know, I f love rollers. They're so easy to use. They give you the best, most incredible blown out hair look. It makes you look sexy, put together, ready to take on any task in life. I've been seeing these babies all over TikTok. It seems like everybody's trying out hot rollers for the first time and they are fascinated by it. I get how you feel. The first time I did it, I was like, <sighs> it's so easy. Did I say it's easy? Cause it's easy. But I love that you guys are finally finding out how magnificent hot rollers really are. So today I'm gonna show you how to set your hair. It's gonna be chic, it's gonna be cute, it's gonna be bouncy and it's gonna be voluminous, obviously. It's me. I'll also let you in on some of my professional secrets to getting the most out of your hot rollers. So these are the rollers I'll be using today. I've never used these ones before. They are all quite comparable to one another. There's no type of rollers that I've been like shook about. Like I've been like, oh my God, I can only use these rollers. So we're gonna try these out today because they are so inexpensive. I don't know how much they are. Let me look up. They are indeed $29 and you get a lot of rollers in here, huh? This seems fun. And if I like them, you will find out and they will be linked below for you. Client, where are you? Come on in. Dun, da, da, da. Oh, wow. Did you just get some fresh color done? But your hair kind of looks dry and fun. Up. Um, we're gonna make it look a lot better today. Let me ask you a question. Do you know what the first step to getting a really good roller set is? What is the answer? Incorrect. When it comes to a good roller set, you gotta build a good foundation. That's with any hairstyling. A good foundation is necessary. We can't be over here with dry as hell sh like this. It looks bad. Let me grab some product. Don't be scared. I'm using three things today, okay? Don't sue me. I'm gonna use three. I'm a product junkie. I love it. It makes hair feel so good, okay? We're gonna go in with some force field heat shield. Protects your hair up to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. Speeds up the drying time. It's gonna make your hair look so shiny and healthy and beautiful. We're going in with some electric rain on those ends before we blow dry. That way our ends are smooth, hydrated. They are silky soft. Oh my God, this makes your hair so soft and all your flyaways will be tamed. Great. Obviously done. And then at the end, we're gonna go in with some Viper smoothing oil because there's nothing better than at the end of a styling moment putting some oil in there to give you a lot of shine hydration and essential nutrients okay so your hair should be damp at this point yes my model today is a little bit dry but that's because she was sitting drying when I wasn't filming so now I'm filming and her hair is a little bit more dry but that's okay so your hair can be more wet than this we're first spraying in force field I can't stress enough how important product is you're not gonna get a great look unless you put the product in and electric rain I'm putting about that much in all over her end because they're so dry. I did, oh, hello. <laughs> Hi, okay girl, get back up there. Okay, great. The next step to doing a beautiful roller set is not even to do the rollers, okay? Not yet, all right? You need to do a decently nice blowout. If your hair is frizzy or wavy or whatever, I'm gonna recommend you blow it out. There's a couple of different things you can do. Now, this doesn't need to be difficult. You don't need to make it difficult and you can do it really fast. You can either do this type of moment with your hand, you see how that's smoothing it out? I'm putting tension on the hair with my hand and I'm blow drying downwards. And that's gonna get rid of all that frizz and all that wave at the top of her hair and make it nice and smooth. Smooth enough to put rollers in. I'm gonna use a round brush just because I want it extra smooth, but you do not have to use a round brush. At least just blow dry it. You can also use like one of those uh, Con Air things or like a, 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 yeah, this is my job, but I don't know anything. All right, so I'm gonna do that right now. I'm gonna do a quick rough, rough, rough blow dry. Boom, baby. Her hair is blow dried. She's looking fierce. I swear to God, I did not spend more than five minutes blow drying her hair. It only looks this good because of the hair products that are put into it. Also though, um, her hair was literally dark brown today and I threw some like balayage in there and didn't tone her hair. And this is the first time I'm seeing it dry and I'm like, <sighs> bitch, I'm so good at fucking highlighting hair like what anyways so now that we have the hair dry we're gonna talk about one other thing before we actually start putting the rollers in i swear i'm gonna get to the rollers okay just wait a second god haircut matters a lot when it comes to roller sets okay your haircut's gonna make a huge difference my girl right here she also got a haircut before today's video and that is because roller sets just do not look as good on people who have one length hair um she has layers in her hair they are not super short but her layers kind of end right there she has something in there you 
know? I gave her some texture, a face framing moment here. You'll see more of it later when she has uh, kind of curls in her hair, but she has a great haircut and she has great color. And that is going to really help emphasize the shape that is given to her hair by these hot rollers. And now let's get to it. Okay, take a deep breath with me if this is your first time. We're gonna do this together and it's gonna be great. You know, sometimes we're like, why don't you work on real people? I don't wanna deal with real people. I deal with real people too much. I'm already a lot for myself to handle. Never mind another person here like it's just too much all around so we're gonna take our first section basically like at the arch of your eyebrow back okay we're gonna do that on both sides we did it we took hair from the arch of the eyebrow on both sides and then two back here where your head rounds off and i just kind of made it like a rectangle moment it'd be great if you had a clip if not you can use an elastic okay i'm not picky i'm gonna take the rest of this hair and i'm just gonna put it into a bun we can now let this hair back down i like to start off with the hair up here because that allows the rollers to sit in this spot the long Longest. And this is the most important. This is what everybody's gonna see when your hair is all finished. And also it's the first thing you're gonna see. So make it look good. Also, wherever you start on the head, usually you have more patience. That's how I like to think about it. I like to start on the top. And if I don't start on the top, I get lazy and I don't wanna do the top anymore. I am what they call a lazy hairstylist. And I'm okay with that. So I'm taking my first section. We're gonna probably separate this section into three. So the first section is about two fingers wide. Great, we'll make sure that's all brushed out and we shall grab our rollers that are very hot right now. Ray will open it. Uh, oh. Okay, open that. <laughs> Rocky start, but we're good. Miss, can you go down a little bit? I see a lot of people doing this first section incorrectly. So what I'm gonna do is I'm not going to roll the hair back away from the face. I'm rolling it forward towards the face, okay? That will give you more volume at the top. I'm wrapping those ends around. That is super important. And I'm slowly bringing it in. This might not look perfect. That is okay. One down, baby. Does it look perfect? No. Is it good? It's fine. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm wrapping it forward because when you blow dry your hair forward, actually, with a round brush, you're gonna get that perfect, like, volume at the top with that beautiful body towards the ends in the front of your head. Okay, that's a great tip right there. Write that one down. <laughs> and the next section is going in the opposite direction. That's what gives you a lot of body and a lot of volume. For this next section, we're gonna go in the same direction because we want volume at the crown and this will give us maximum volume. I'm not gonna lie, I'm burning myself a lot. Uh, oh my God, this is like actually painful. Like what the f is going on? Am I not using these right? What's going on here? Those are our two sections at the top, complete, forward, back, back. I'm taking my next section is just going to be right behind the ear like that. And we are going to separate this into two like so it's always a good idea to work from the bottom up you don't want to be putting the top one in and then trying to stick another one underneath it it's just a pain in the ass i promise i did it too many times in my life i'm never doing it again we're gonna try and put a little baby one in here this one is going under and we're gonna take our larger roller and this one will also go under we're making a lot of progress here this is super easy super fun super simple because i love rollers and so should you oh <laughs> getting naked over here huh Bam. We're in the back now. We're splitting this back section into two horizontally. Bam, boom, bang. We're taking our larger size roller. And now this will be a little bit different. We're taking our section out from the head and we're rolling it towards the face. Okay, like that. It's okay if some falls out like that. It's really cool. It's really fine. And the next one, the exact same way. Don't get hard on yourself if this doesn't come out good or it's not easy for you the first time. It's not supposed to be easy the first time, but you will get the hang of it really easily. This is one of the easier things to do with hair, but it can still be complicated for some people. Don't be hard on yourself, babe. You're fine. You can do it. I believe in you and you're gorgeous and beautiful. Look at yourself in the mirror someday. And our next section is going in the opposite direction. So we did that one forward. We're doing this one back. Now, because she's a mannequin, her hair is definitely splitting into two up here um, because she doesn't have a real scalp, so ignore that. We have 11 rollers in the head and you don't need to use that many and it can be really quick, okay? They don't need to look perfect. They can be slipping out of the sides a little bit. As long as we get the majority of it in the roller, you'll be fine. So let's review. We did the top. We put this one forward. We did these two back. We did these both under on both sides. Boom, boom. And then we did four in the back. We did one going this way and one going forward. We're gonna let this sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. Honestly, you don't need to let it sit for like that long. I get a little lazy sometimes and take them out early, but it's up to you. The longer you let them sit, usually the more they will stay in your hair, but 
15 minutes is just fine. So I will see you in 15 minutes when we take these out. And she's cooked. Let's start removing. Start from the bottom and work your way up. As you unravel, twist the hair, please. Gorgeous. Again, let's drop it out. Unravel. Ooh, -ho 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 -ho. I have to say this is the most exciting part of all. It makes me so happy. Now, if you look like you are a pageant girl at this point, you have done it correctly. It will all come together, I promise. Beautiful. Let's do the really, 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 really fun part. Besides taking the rollers out, that's also really fun. I will not say it's not, because it is really relieving, stress relieving and amazing. It makes me so happy. We're gonna put a little more Viper in our hand and we are going to run our hands through this beautiful masterpiece. We're gonna loosen up some of those curls. Oh my God, stop. When I tell you, you will get some major volume, you better not be scared of it. If you can't handle volume, don't do this. I love the look, but it could be so much better. I have to take a natural bristle brush and actually go in there and break up those curls. I don't like it, like when it looks all stringy and stuff, like I want my hair to look fluffy. That looks fluffy. I mean, if she had shoulders, you'd be able to see it better, but like, like, that is what I want. So I always have to brush the hair out. If you want this to last, don't brush it out way too many times. You just want to get that fluff back in the hair. You see how we just did that? Now her look is complete. Oh my God. The way this brings out her color. <gasps> I can't even be in the same room as her. You are so pretty. What the hell? Oh, look at it from the side. Oh, darling, I did you good. See how the hair is all like uniform, but it's not clumping together. That's because we did some of that hair going in the opposite direction. And when you do that, the hair doesn't tend to like clump in huge chunks together and you get a lot of variety with the wave. It looks amazing. I'm obsessed. Of course, a little bit of hairspray. And now she is ready for whatever life brings at her. I've been playing with it a lot. Her hair is starting to fall out. Okay, update. I just brushed her hair out and I like love this look. I basically took all of the curls I just went through with my brush and just took a lot of those curls out. The great thing about doing a roller set is you can really just morph the hair into like whatever you want once you're done. So I'm just gonna take my hands and I'm just gonna like morph it into a wave. You see that? Like just crafting it and it just kind of falls where it wants to. And for some reason, it always just looks I'm gonna take this piece and I'm just gonna like morph it into a wave because it already has that structure inside. It'll just do whatever you want it to do. Oh my God, like look at that body that we have without having too much curl now. Again, for this side, like I can literally mess it all up and then brush it really quick and just let it fall. And then we have this perfect other look. It just is the gift that keeps giving. The more the curl falls out, you just get more and more looks as the day goes on and your curls start to come out naturally. I just think it's great to just brush it and see what happens, you know? Like, you can also give yourself a nice side part. It's always sexy to do a little side part moment. These mannequins do not like to stay on the side, but I will try. <laughs> And there we go, we have this more glamorous side part moment. It is a little bit difficult to do on the mannequin, but you see what I mean. It is spicy, it is hot. Like even if you're more of the girl who has that relaxed, cool girl vibe and doesn't like their hair to look perfect, like honestly, this is a vibe. Like just having it even a little bit tangled, like that is sexy. Like you don't need to have it looking perfect. I think it even looks good if it's a little ratty. Am I going crazy right now? Am I crazy? Yeah, like, oh my God, this. Cover your face in there. <laughs> Look at this hair though. I really wanted to show you guys that if you do one roller set real quick, you can get all different kinds of looks in one. Hot rollers are just a great way to put that base structure in your hair to create any look. You can get nice soft waves, you can get big bouncy curls, or you can get really soft blowouts depending on how much you brush it and how much you rake your hands through it. And this is why I love hot rollers so much. There's nothing else out there that gives you that perfect blowout look with half the effort. I honestly would prefer to do this than a blowout because it does not take as much time or arm energy in order to accomplish something like this. Well, thank you to my model for today. She's currently passing out. She's a little tired and she's over it. Okay, cool. We'll take you off set, ma'am. Thank you. You can sign your waiver in the back room. Yes, so you need to sign a waiver. I don't care if you're a mannequin. I don't. I think that makes you different. It makes you cooler than me. 
Wow, that made me happy. I hope you guys learned how to use your hot rollers correctly. Um, and if you've never used them before, please give it a shot. It's so fun to do. I don't know, it just makes you feel so classy and sexy and gorgeous. And you get so many different looks out of it. So it's amazing. And uh, TikTok, thank you for making this such a thing again. I'm forever grateful. I can't wait to see all the girls with their beautiful voluminous bloods walking the streets. It's very satisfying to see. Today's Instagram shout out goes to Rawan and she says she has way too much hair and she wants to know what to do with it. It's virgin hair and she hasn't cut it in five years. All right, first of all, get a haircut, okay? Get some layers in there. I want to see those curls even more voluminous. Like, mm, it would look so good. And also, I would love to see dimension in your hair. I love your natural color. It's beautiful, but having some lighter pieces going through there will help accentuate those curls and make everything look so full and so alive. So try that out, and I would love to see it if you end up doing it. Good luck. Make sure you guys check out my hair care and my hair color line and me on all different social media platforms. Here are all my handles. If you'd like to shop anything mentioned in today's video, it'll all be linked below for you. That is all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to live your extra life, and I'll see you next time. Bye.